cover EBGP and IBGP, uh, basics of EBGP and IBGP. Um, we have, uh, um, first of all, BGP is a path vector protocol and is used uh, uh, in general for internet traffic for large autonomous systems, some large uh, ISPs and very huge enterprises use uh, BGP. We can go into why BGP and all those questions uh, in a different session. But this is uh, this session is basically focusing on two types of uh, BGP, turning on two types of BGP, eBGP and IBGP, external BGP and internal BGP. There are uh, multiple things to BGP as to why this protocol is so widely used and why is this the chosen protocol for the internet um, it is mainly because of the uh, scalability reasons and the and the control that it gives uh, for the engineer um, unlike the other igp protocols whereby you can you know engineer traffic along uh, different paths via multiple paths and um, and it, it, the uh, control it can it can give to a particular bunch of prefixes whereby you have multiple um, you know communities and attributes and other things which we will go into late, in later sessions so to begin with uh, we will i have actually given the ip addresses already in the routers uh, in this session uh, in order to save time so what we will be doing is we will run ebgp session between r1 and r4 and ibgp session between r4 r2 and r3 and then we'll take it from there first let's begin by beginning uh, be uh, turning on bgp on r1 so r1 has an ip address of 1.1.1.1 so i'll use the autonomous system 100 the neighbor for this will be our 1.1.1.4 which is the connectivity to the 4 r4 router remote as 200 we'll go to r4 router bgp 200 is the AC here. This is uh, we have to give the remote as 100. This is the EBGP session. If you look at it, it just has a neighbor statement. First thing is to announce the BGP, and then the neighbor statement has the remote AS number. Now, with between R2 and R4 and R3, we will try to enable IBGP sessions. Let's look at the connector interface IP for on R4, what the connector interface IP is. 4334. So neighbor 4.3.4 remote AS 200. Now we we'll go to R2 and we'll configure the neighbor. 2.2.2.4 remote AS 200 now we will go to R4 and enable the if we do a show run here we have only one session which is an EBGB session pointing to out so we need to make two more sessions here one pointing to R2 and one pointing to R3 so the one pointing to R2 will be neighbor 4.2.2.2 remote AS 200 and the one pointing to R3 will be neighbor 4.3.3.3 remote AS 200 let's see the BGP summary now I didn't check this even the EBGP session did not come up so let's go back to R1 pointing to R4 do show run oh the interface is shut down interface FA00 let's give one more shut let's check the BGP so the BGP came up here coming up it's still active you should see established um, to uh, for uh, that is the session that is the 
condition in which BGP neighborship has been completely formed. There are multiple states in in the finite state machine, um, like idle, connect, active. We'll get into that later. Let's see if it comes up. Still not able to ping. Oh shut! Now it should come up. Okay. Only the EBGP session has to come up now. Uh, both the IBGP sessions, as you see, 4.2.2.2 going to R2 and 4.3.3.3 going to R3 have come up. The BG EBGP session between R4 and R1 have to has to come up. Yes, it has come up now. So what we will do now is we'll announce a loop back on R1. Let's go to R4. Show IP BGP summary. Show IP BGP. So you see uh, three things here in this. These are the well known mandatory attributes. One is the I, where is the source it has learned it from. I here means IGP. This is not our OSPF or EAGRP, that IGP. Here IGP means it has been originated locally in BGP. It has been announced in BGP, is what it means. The next stop is 1.1.1.1, which means that R1's interface is the next stop through which it has learnt this 100 dot network from. And then um, you also have this is the valid and the best path, the greater than and the star, that's what it means. If you see here, it says valid star, and then greater than is the best path. And the metric is the default metric is your video, you have not configured any metric here. And then uh, weight look, all these are like uh, optional. You have to, you can configure it, and if you leave it, it will take the default values. Now, so now we have origin which is there, and then you also have the next stop, and also you have what all paths it has traversed. Here it is only traversed 100 because this it's coming from the other AS, uh, AS 100. If there are multiple ASs, it is traversing, it will list all those ASs here, it will prepend all those ASs here. So we will go to R4. Now we see the route here. Yes, the route is there here in BGP. Let's go to R2 now. In R2, I am not able to see the BGP routes. Why is that? What is the next hop stating here? It is 1.1.1.1, which is R1's router. Can we pin this 1.1.1.1? No. Because we don't have any connectivity from R2 to R1, 1.1.1.1. See, the attribute of BGP is that whenever an EBGP update is learned, right, and it has been given to IBGP, it will not change the next hop of the update. It won't change the next hop. So, whenever there is a learning of EBGP and it's been given to IBGP and you don't have connectivity from that core router to the EBGP router, what we need to do is that we have to go R4 in our case and add the statement neighbor next hop self neighbor next hop self do clear ipbgp star route pgp now we see the route and we also see that the next stop has been changed to 4224 which is r4 interface and not R1's interface for which we have connectivity already. So let's see if we can ping R1 now. We cannot ping R1 now because we have not made the correct announcements on BGP. If we see the BGP statements here. We have not announced the connected network here. In R1 and in R4.
now In R2, we are missing another announcement. Same way in R3. Now we can ping from R2 to and R4 and from R3. So we have to end IBGP and EBGP connectivity. So we have all the BGP routes in all of these routers and is learned here and yes so so now if we take r3 you can see that 1.1.1.1 the next stop is 4334 which is the r force interface 4.2.2.2 which is also the next stop is 4.3.3.4 it is learned via R4 and then 100 which is also 4.3 which is the EBGB route which has been learned via R4 so this one is a stale entry um, 4.3.3.0 slash 24 with the next stop 0 because that's because of the local announcements here local, local announcement which has been made here uh, in this router that is that's what it means um, 4330 um, so we have the R2 network we have the R1 network via the router R4 and also we have the loopback which has been announced in R1 via um, R4 so that's it from uh, this session of uh, BGP we will take forward questions and the other um, um, topologies and configurations in the future uh, sessions. Thank you.